It's been over two years since Apple's groundbreaking silicone chips hit the market, and most tech enthusiasts are still in awe of how well these chips handle native Mac apps. But now, Microsoft is rolling out updates to Teams, making it one of the top performing meeting tools on the platform. We'll give you a breakdown of Microsoft Teams' newest update as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, technology insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. For those that have worked remotely over the last year or two, it's likely that you've used Microsoft Teams to make a call or hold a meeting at some point. And if you're running the software on a newer Windows PC, performance on the app couldn't be better. Unfortunately, the same couldn't have been further from the truth for individuals attempting to use Teams on one of Apple's silicone-based Macs. In its previous state, Microsoft Teams was plagued with slow launch times and lag on Silicon Macs. As a result, many Mac owners shifted to using the web version of the app, which isn't ideal. Now, how can a new chip, one that's supposed to be blazing fast, have such terrible issues with older software, you might ask? The reason is surprisingly quite simple. For years, nearly every decent PC has relied on one of two chip manufacturers, Intel or AMD. But when the recent chip shortage occurred, Apple took it upon itself to develop its own line of chips, known as the M1 and the recently released M2. While Apple's chips are designed to run some apps extremely well, many software developers such as Microsoft are still learning how to properly optimize their products for newer Apple devices. As a result, owners of newer Macs and MacBooks are in somewhat of a limbo phase in terms of performance. While some apps like Word and PowerPoint run extremely well on new Apple hardware, other apps like Teams struggle. That is, up until now. In a recent post, Microsoft announced that it had officially begun rolling out an update to ensure Teams works natively on Macs with M1 and M2 chips. For those Apple enthusiasts out there, that means the app no longer is translated through Rosetta 2. In turn, Teams users will quickly find themselves with a huge leap in performance on new Macs. So with the update just now launching, when can you expect it to hit your device? Currently, Apple is sending out updates in batches, beginning with the individuals who signed up for its preview program. For those that have yet to opt into Microsoft's preview program, the company estimates that it might take another couple of months to receive the update. That is, of course, unless you have an IT provider like Rocket IT on hand. With Rocket IT's help, businesses can ensure their fleet of M1 or M2 Macs are running the newest version of Teams, improving the software experience of their employees. For more information on this service, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.